my channel for today's video i wanted to do a get ready with me slash chit chat video i don't really know what i'm going to be doing for today's makeup look i'm sort of just going to wing it and see what i come up with but i don't even know if i'm going to be going out or not i just felt like doing my makeup and thought it would be a good idea to invite you guys and be here with me while i get ready so yeah i'm going to go ahead and get started i got this one at dollar tree a while back and i really like it for um for when I do my makeup because I just don't like my hair in my way. I hate having having it in my face while I do my makeup. I will be showing you guys some of the things that I am using but it's not necessarily a makeup tutorial. I'm just going to be doing my makeup and show you guys what I'll be doing for today. But yeah, I'm going to start off with this Wet n Wild uh, face primer. Uh, photo focus face primer this is the one that I showed on that last video and I've actually been really liking it I still think I like the elf one better but this one is pretty good also um, I've already applied some on and yeah I have a mirror here next to me I don't know if I already said that did I already say that oh. I usually listen to music but my iPad died so I am not listening to any music today. I'm applying this on my face like I would be applying like, you know, face cream. And usually I focus on these areas right here because I got I get a little bit of pores right around this area and my nose area sometimes on my chin too. But it's mostly like right here. I've been breaking out so bad. Like so so bad it's more like on my chin area and I'm really, it, it upsets me a lot because I have any breakouts growing up I mean I did have a couple of them but not like this bad I have to already go get a new one of these but yeah like I wouldn't really break out growing up and I'm breaking out now that I'm older it just sucks like I hate it and I was looking on Pinterest and apparently like if you break out on like the chin areas, it has to do with your hormones. And um, I do think it's true because um, I got on this birth control and the birth control I think is causing my breakouts because I mean as soon as I get it, you know, I start breaking out and it's from the areas right here. This little guy here just, I don't even know why it came out. <laughs> I don't usually break out from my forehead, but I was telling my husband I want to go get a facial and I'm thinking about making an appointment for this week for Thursday to um, get a facial done. Um, it's actually been a long time since I got a facial, like a long, long, long time. Oh my god, I have a little pimple here too. Oh my god, cause I already did my eyebrows by the way. But, um, and I know that there's this one place here that I looked up and uh, apparently they have like specials on Thursday and it's like half off on Thursday or something like that it's like 50 bucks a facial so that's actually not bad it has really good reviews and I was thinking about going to get that done so yeah um, the last time I got one done I think I was like a couple of months pregnant with Marco so it's been like seven years since I got a facial done and I really want to go get one done but yeah what I was gonna say about my eyebrows is um I went to go get them threaded and it was my first time getting them threaded I've gotten them waxed before and um, the last time I got them waxed um, I started waxing them at this uh, nail nail place and they would charge pretty cheap not cheap cheap um, <laughs> But yeah, um, they were charging pretty cheap. They were charging like eight bucks. And then I went with this one girl and she left them very, very thin. And then I went again and um, and it was a different girl. I forgot her name, but I, I continued going with her because I really like how she um, she left my eyebrows. She like left them really, really nice. And um, when I, I went in again a third time, that girl was no longer there. She was uh, she was from Vietnam. Um, I know this because I started talking to her, and she had told me she was gonna go visit her son um, for a week. 
but then when I went back um, about two weeks later I talked to the owner who was like her cousin or something like that and uh, apparently she ended up staying in Vietnam and not coming back I mean at least that's what they told me so I never went back and I never saw her again <laughs> so yeah that's the story about the Vietnamese lady but then after that I went to go get them at JCPenney then at JCPenney they were a little bit more expensive but not like very very expensive they were like um, I think it was like $12 um, to get them done at JCPenney and um, I liked them but I kept changing all of these um, my girl stories oh my gosh so after I got them done at JCPenney we moved and um, I decided to start getting them um, or doing them myself and it sucked yeah now that I look back at pictures like they sucked so bad I thought that they looked good but yeah they didn't so recently like about a month ago um, I decided to start letting them grow out so that I can like give give it another shot and go get them waxed and um, I let them grow out and they were kind of bushy so like on my other videos my eyebrows are kind of bushy and um, like I think it was like my first like my Spanish video that I recorded so they were super super bushy so then like a week I almost poked my eye out so like a week later I decided to um, after I recorded that to go get them threaded and oh my gosh it hurt really 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 bad like really bad like like i was there like oh like trying to be <laughs> to tough it out but it actually hurt a lot but but the outcome was i actually really like how they left my eyebrows um so i will be going again i'm just gonna have to take the pain do any of you guys watch that show younger um it's on its fourth season now it comes out on tlc I just watched the latest episode, which I think came out like last Wednesday, or I don't even know what day that comes out, but I watched it online, and um, I started watching it, I think like last year, because um, I have Hilary Dove on, um, I started following Hilary Dove on Instagram, I really like Hilary Dove, I was a big Lizzie McGuire fan growing up, and um, yeah, I started watching, um, following her, and then she started posting about it on Instagram, so I decided to give it like a go and watch it and it's actually really really good and really really funny. It's like a um like a chick flick show kind of thing. Like it's more for like chicks. Is that even a thing? Chick flick? I think chick flick means chick movie. I don't know. It's like a chick show is what I'm trying to say. It's like more for girls. But yeah, it's super funny and I'm on the fourth season already. I'm like caught on and um like I said, I just watched the latest episode like 20 minutes ago. Each episode is like 20 minutes, I think, or like 19 minutes. But if any of you guys watch it, what did you guys think of the episode? I'm kind of bummed out that Charles's wife is back on the show. Well, not back because it's her first time coming, but back into Charles's life is what I mean. Not that I didn't like the other dude, the young one, the tattoo artist. Um, but I just feel like he didn't go with Liza, you know, because Liza's like 40 years, 40 year old lady and she's like living does like 20 year old life. Um, and that's the main, that's the, like, like the main focus of the show is her trying to hide like that she's 40, but I just always like Charles better because of her age. Um, but it's not that I don't like the tattoo guy, but yeah. And I kind of like it that him, that, um, him and Kelsey. Kelsey is um, Hillary Dove on the show, by the way. But yeah, I kind of like it that him and Kelsey, like they have like kind of like this thing going on, but they haven't really like admitted it. I feel like they would make a really cute couple and they're like both on, in their 20s, so it's not like weird at all. But yeah, that's what's been going on with Younger. If you guys haven't seen it, like I said, I really, really, really recommend that show. It's super good and super funny. I don't really know what I'm going to be doing for my eyes, but I know I'm going to be using my Naked Smoky Palette. So, I don't really know... 
can I say this? So I don't have a lot of like expensive high-end makeup. I do have a little bit. I have like maybe like three or four palettes, but I don't really keep up. Not that I don't keep up. I do because I know what comes out, but it's just like not possible for me to, not that it's not possible either. I'm trying to explain it and like, let me think. I want to find, I want to say this in the right way and not like, be misunderstood I just don't always want to be buying high-end makeup like it's just it's just too much for me right now like not I'm still not explaining myself right it's just too expensive sometimes like I would rather buy something else than to spend 50 60 dollars on a makeup palette would I want to of course I would want to I love going to Sephora, I love going to Ulta, um, of course it's something that I would want to do um, and that I like to do but sometimes I just rather buy other things than to be buying expensive makeup. So basically what I'm trying to say is whatever I do record and show you guys, I will basically be doing with stuff that I own. and. Um, and stuff that I have here at home like like I said I of course I would really like to go buy like the latest you know Urban Decay heat palette and stuff like that but like I rather I would rather buy other stuff that I really really need than to go buy a 50 60 dollar makeup palette not just that I mean of course if I ever do have the opportunity and decide to get something like that for myself or if my husband ever spoils me which he has he has always done um i will definitely be telling you guys and i will definitely be showing it um here on my channel it's not that it doesn't excite me i mean what girl doesn't like to buy new makeup but i mean sometimes they sell very very similar products at the drugstore that are also really really nice and really really good quality for like a way cheaper price which is usually what i will buy so for now, I kind of just want to focus on what I do have. And if I do buy anything, which is more than likely going to be drugstore, I will be showing it to you guys and letting you guys know why I like the product and showing you guys how I wear it. Um, but yeah, I just really quickly wanted to say that. I'm also not like really good. What? What? Okay, so... So I got interrupted there for a little bit because my husband was going to go out and the kids wanted to go to my parents' house and um, I had to change them so that he could drop them off on his way to wherever it is that he was going. Um, and I'm still working on my eyes. So I'm going to continue doing my eyes. I was telling you guys that um i also wanted to mention i'm not a professional makeup artist i have actually been learning from youtube as well i really enjoy watching youtube videos um i like watching tutorials i like talking about makeup i like learning about makeup um it's something that i've been doing for a while now um the watching the videos the tutorials and stuff i started watching it i think about maybe like five six years ago i started getting like super into youtube i have always liked makeup i've always enjoyed it i remember going to like my mom's room using it um i remember going to my aunt's house and um i would always get their makeups and try them on and ask if i could keep some stuff and they would give me like makeup and i would like them. but sometimes i would put them in my backpack and carry them to school and wear them at school and then wash it off before my mom would pick me up but yeah i have always liked makeup i just started getting a lot more into it and practicing it on myself now that i have gotten like older and i don't think that there is any wrong answers with makeup i think you can play with makeup and just come up with different looks all the time like there is no like oh you did it wrong you did it right um obviously some people are better than others but I mean, that's one of the reasons why I decided to create this channel is because whatever I do record and whatever I do learn, I want to share it with you guys so that you can so that you guys can follow me, um, follow me on my learning journey. I guess I can say. Uh, by the way, I got these 
makeup brushes at H-E-B. They were um, two for 88 cents. Like, they were like 40 cents each. Like, I got like all of these. I'm missing one over here. But I have been buying the Wet n Wild brushes. I have I bought like two other ones. And then my aunt gave me uh, another one and I really, really like them. And um, when I saw this sale, I decided to buy some more. So I have like all these new brushes. But yeah, they're actually really, really nice. Usually like their like regular price is like some of them, like there's different prices. Like some of them are like a dollar and then other ones are like, um, I think like the highest it goes is like four dollars i think but that's still like super super cheap you guys can find like super affordable makeup at the drugstore it'll work like it'll still work like really really good like it doesn't have to be expensive in order for it to work so i'm gonna create like a smoky eye right here like i said i'm just winging this look i don't really have anything in mind or anything planned guys I'm not an expert on doing makeup I am learning as well I sometimes suck and then whenever I do like do a good job or whenever I do like how it comes up I like post it on snapchat and show it off because I'm proud of myself when it comes out good or like really really good but anyways, yeah, I want to order some new um, ColourPop. I know that like, like their um, their Ultra Matte was like their thing. Like everybody was like super into ColourPop because that matte um, lipsticks, the matte lipsticks were like coming out, and like everybody wanted to have like the matte lips and stuff like that. And that basically beca became like their signature like product. I think was the ultra matte lipsticks so that's what I usually that's what I like begin to buy from them I've ordered a couple of things from there a couple of times and um, I ended I started off buying the uh, ultra matte lip and they were okay like I did like them it's not that I didn't like them but to me it was like too dry on the lips so I didn't really like that I also felt like not that they would crack but to me, it felt like like my lips were cracking. I don't remember if it was like my second or third time. I don't remember, but I decided to try like other lip products and I started buying the satin lip and I feel like I like the satin lip a lot better. Um, so that's really what I want to buy is the satin lip because it's still matte on your lip, but it's not like drying as the, the ultra matte ones are. So I prefer the ultra satin lip than the ultra matte lip and i really want to buy some new ones also my favorite one dopey um from the ultra satin lip um is almost like i'm almost out of it and it's like my favorite one from uh, from all of the ones that i have i've been looking for like a baby blue like smoky blue shadow um I'm gonna be going to a wedding on October and the colors that they picked are like smoky blue and I want to practice start practicing like a couple of makeup looks I have already practiced them with what I have here but I don't really like anything I don't know if I want to do like a blue shadow um, or a blue eye look I don't know if I want to do like a glitter look I know that I really like the um, I went to Sephora yesterday, not to buy anything, just to see if I, um, just to see if I, uh, you know, just to look and to see if um, I would see anything that I liked. And they have the moon dust ones, I think that's what they were called. And they're kind of like glittery shadows and they have this one called lounge and it is so, so pretty. But it was expensive, like one little shadow. I think it was like $24. And I mean that's kind of pricey. That's pricey for one for one single shadow. Um 
if I really, really like it and I don't find anything, I mean, it would probably be something that that I might want to get. But I don't know. As of now, like, it's just too much. So I'm going to bump it up. Another thing that I do need to get. You see, here I am talking about how I don't want to spend and then I'm telling you guys everything I want to get. Um, but something that I need is foundation. I don't have any more foundation. Um, this is, I'm using right now the, um, the, um, what are these called? The Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me. And I actually mixed, uh, mixed up these two, but these are like for every day. Like I use these on a daily school runs or to go to the store. Like if I feel like doing my, my makeup super quickly, those are the ones that I use. Um, but I need like full coverage foundation and my favorite one is the Clinique and I'm out of um, I'm out of both of my Clinique bottles like both of the shades that I use um, and I do Need to um, Go buy some more, but I don't know if I want to get Clinique anymore. I bought the um, The Tarte The C one you know, that C1 that everybody was talking about. I got it and I did not like it. I didn't like it. I have it there and it's like, I still have a lot of it left. And I just, like, it's not my favorite. Uh, it's not my favorite foundation. I didn't really like it. That's another reason why I went to Sephora yesterday to see if I would find any foundation. Um, you see, I know that I was just telling you guys that I don't want to be spending, like, a lot of money on, um on makeup but foundation is something that I do use every day and it's something that I will um that I feel like I would be spending my money and make my money's worth is foundation but other than that like like I'm not gonna be buying like super expensive palettes all the time like like no that's a no for me I don't know if any of you guys have heard, but Hurricane Harvey hit Texas pretty bad. Um, I think it was like a category three hurricane. First it started off as a tropical storm, then they started saying that it moved up to a category two or category one, I think. It started going up really, really fast. Well, last minute it decided to go a little bit like more to the north towards Corpus Christi. And, um, we were just gonna be getting like the outcome, which we are, which was gonna be just like rain. And it's been raining really, really, really bad. But Corpus and like all those areas like Rockford got hit pretty bad. So I hope everybody's okay over there. And now like Houston's getting the outcome too. Houston's flooded right now and, and it's raining pretty bad here. I'm applying my eyeliner and I'm gonna do this off camera because I am not very great at doing my eyeliner. It takes forever, so I'm just gonna be right here. Hmm, not bad. This is the eyeliner that I used, Scone. Is that the brand? Insanely Intense Tattooed. Um, right here and I really really liked it I got it on my ipsy bag um, like two months ago and I'm just now trying it out and I actually really really liked it moving on to highlighter I'm gonna be using my wet and wild highlighter in um, Cosmo no I, I'll have a Cosmo For mascara, I'm gonna be using my Clinique Chubby Lash Mascara. In Chihuahua, this is the one that I have. 
Um, I bought this one last year. And this was probably one of the most expensive lipsticks I have ever bought. And I never went back to buy another one. Did I like it? Yes, I did. But super expensive, man. I hardly even wear it because... Um, not that I don't like it. I do like it. But I just prefer other lipsticks than this one. Like, I'd rather wear a color pop lipstick that is like 6 bucks than to wear something that's like... 30 40 dollars like that's just too much but yeah that's pretty much it just gotta fix my hair but other than that like i said my makeup is donezo the lighting over here is a little bit better but yeah there we go it's just like a very basic smoky eye and yeah that was pretty much it i hope you guys liked my little get ready with me video um something that i've been mentioning on my description box is please 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 um be patient with me i am still new to all of this recording and editing and you know just uploading all of these videos for you guys so i'm trying to do them in the best way that I can but I am still learning and I'll see you guys on my next video thank you so much for getting ready with me if you guys like this video please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you are new and yeah I'll be seeing you guys on my next video bye